Hello YouTube, so today I have the KJW KP06. I just received it in the mail today. I got it off of evike.com and I also got the holy cow deal with it so it came with an extra magazine. The magazine it comes with is right here. As you can tell, there are two completely different magazines but this one still fits into the KJW as you can see. So, it still works and everything. The gun is actually a pretty nice gun. I like it. I like the slide. It's like a matte black color. And I sanded down the orange tip because it looks retarded. And has a nice rail on here. It doesn't fit much stuff because... I don't know, it's just wider or something, it's really retarded. Has a skeleton trigger with a two hole there. Skeleton hammer. Probably my favorite thing about it is it has fiber optic scope sky sights. Camera will focus. There, there. They actually are really easy for sighting in. Then also it has an open magwell, a wider magwell. Which is nice and it also has a custom grip kind of like I don't know what it's called kind of is like a golf ball grip but the circles are bigger I don't know this uh, magazine release is just kind of normal it's just flat with a indent in the middle has an extended slide catch right here it normally stops there but it extends out there it's really nice it's easy to use then it also has ambidextrous safeties, both sides. One thing that I have noticed with most high kappas is that this safety on this side is the normal one that works. But then on this side, there's the other one which is really wobbly and you can't exactly get it into safe. So you have to use this side to get it into safe, but this side you can take it out of safe. So, that's one thing that I have noticed, and it has nice KJW, KJ Works right there. Symbol, and then Made in Taiwan, uh, right there it has, little focus, well, right there, it says 45 ACP, and so, do the takedown for you. It's pretty easy, just like normal 1911s. Pin comes out right there. It just comes apart like that. Really simple. Then this part has a really long guide rod. And one thing, I love this gun, but the one thing that really irritates me is I don't know how to get this guide rod out because normally it has a little, like, this part right here, right there. That part is normally, it's this long. And since the gun's an extra inch, it has to recede into there, so you can't get it out. And the only way the um, manual says to do it is that there's two holes, one there and one there. You have to take two, like, sticks or whatever, stick it in there, and then twist it apart, and it separates right there if you could see that line it screws together right there and right there and so it does that but it doesn't come apart because of this line after you get it to a certain point this hole passes this to where you can't hold it anymore and it just you can't unscrew it so I had to put it back together then also it has an upgraded gas system that will accept CO2 and hop up right there Hop up is a um, little wheel that you twist or whatever. It, for me, it works perfectly fine all the way off. And the rear sights are adjustable for windage and elevation. Really nice. And it has uh, grooves right here for caulking. And wish there was some on the front, but I don't really care. But it's really nice.
finish and reassembly same thing just put it back together get this little notch right there second notch matched up with that put the pin back in and this gun kind of sticks so you have to push pretty ow motherfucker push really hard to get it back in and then it clicks so really nice so that's really the only complaint I have is that you cannot get the barrel and everything out and this barrel as you can see here it just like twists off and that's why I want to get to the internals to put some tape over that so it won't just unscrew so these right here are nice details there's cuts in there above the rail which look really nice on the gun and overall really nice gun haven't chronoed yet haven't chronoed it yet probably will in the future get the chrono up on then yep it's basically it slide is metal lower receiver is metal I don't know I think it's alloy or something like that and then this grip is polymer from right here down and over and all this stuff is polymer this mag release is metal beaver tail is metal safety slide catch hammer and this is metal so basically everything on this gun is metal except for the um, the grip and of course the fiber optic sights are plastic or whatever the hell they're made out of so really, really nice gun really like it has a pretty nice kick to it and overall great gun so